हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम नीलांजना सनियाल वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल एन एस ऑनलाइन मैथ क्लासेस आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज फाइंडिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ लॉग एरिथम्स मैन्युअली एंड देन चेकिंग द आंसर्स विद द टी आई इंस्पायर सी एक्स कैलकुलेटर वाई शुड वी बी फाइंडिंग द वैल्यूज मैनुअली फर्स्ट बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट वी हैव लर्न सो फार so we will be first of all finding the given logarithm values manually and of course we cannot find the value of every logarithm manually definitely but we will be taking up those logarithms in this session whose values can be found manually and then we will be checking our answers with the calculator so that we understand the working of the calculator how to find the logarithm values using the ti inspired calculator once we know the method we can find the value of any other logarithm using the ti inspired calculator but first of all we have to learn the process so if if we just feed in some number in the calculator we will be given given some result but how do we know whether the result is correct or not of course the working in the calculator is correct but how do we know that what we have entered or the sequence in which we have entered the data whether it is correct or not that is why we will be first of all finding the values manually and then we will be finding the same logarithm values using the ti inspired cx calculator so that when if the two values match we will be knowing that the process that we have learned or we are learning in this session is correct okay so without any further delay let us start with our today's session we will be taking up three questions three logarithms finding their values we will be finding their values manually first of all we will be finding the first logarithm's value manually and then check the value of that logarithm using the calculator then move on to the second question this is the way that we will be using throughout this session we will be taking up three logarithms in this session okay so we start with our today's session coming to the very first question find the value of log of 100 and since the base is missing obviously the base is equal to 10 and what will be the answer log of 100 can be written as log of 10 to the power of 2 base is of course 10 so the 2 is the power which will be coming down in the coefficient place we can write this as 2 times log of 10 to the base 10 this is equal to 1 it is 2 times 1 or equal to 2 so log of 100 is equal to 2 we have seen that we have found the value of log of 100 manually now we will be finding the value of log of 100 using the ti inspired cx calculator okay so now we will be finding the value of log of 100 and this log is over here it this one is 10 to the power of x and if you on top of this in blue color it is written log over here for getting this log we have to press the control key first of all and then the log and see it comes over here and they are asking for the base but what if we don't give anything for the base we straight away come to the argument part so i am writing 100 in the argument position i am not writing anything in the base position see it is left blank and i press enter i get 2 and the base has been taken as 10 they have entered this number 10 in the base place okay so that is what i always say that if you don't write anything for the base it will be assumed to be equal to 10 so if you need the base 10 you don't have to write you may skip writing 10 over here explicitly the calculator will be assuming the base to be 10 and it will be writing 10 over here 
and we have found the value to be equal to 2 manually. So we have understood how to find the value of log of 100 using the calculator, using the TI Inspire CX calculator. Okay. So let us move on to the second question of this session. Now let us come to the second question of our today's session. It is find the value of log of 25 to the base square root of 5. And we have learned how to find the uh, values of logarithms of this type where the base or the argument contains some radical sign, some root in our very previous session. And over there, we had equated this, the given logarithm to be equal to x and then converted this to an exponential equation, made the powers, uh, sorry, made the base of both the sides of the equal to sign the same and equated the powers. That was the method that we had applied in our previous session, although I had, I had explained the other method also verbally and in our today's session, we will be using that second method, which I had explained verbally in our previous session. And what was the, that method? In that method, we were expressing the argument as some power of the base. So how do we write 25 as some power of the base, which is square root of 5? 25 is 5 raised to the power of 2, 5 squared. And what is 5? 5 is square root of 5 whole squared. So in place of 5, we will be writing square root of 5 whole squared. So 5 raised to the power of 2 is square root of 5 whole squared whole raised to the power of 2. That is square root of 5 raised to the power of 4. And the base is, of course, square root of 5. So this 4 will be coming down in the coefficient place and we will be having 4 times log of square root of 5 to the base square root of 5. And this part is equal to 1 because log of a to the base a is equal to 1. So this is 4 times 1 or this is equal to 4. So log of 25 to the base square root of 5 is equal to 4. Now let us use the TI Inspire calculator, CX calculators to see whether we get the same value or not. If we don't get the same value, now we have learned how to input the values and how to get the answer for any logarithm term, log arithmetic term rather. So if we get a different answer, then either our this working will be incorrect or maybe we'll be making some mistake while inputting the data into the calculator. Let's see what happens, okay? So we have seen the log of 25 to the base square root of 5 to be equal to 4. Just remember this logarithm log of 25 to the base square root of 5. Okay. And the answer that we have got is equal to 4. Now we will be inputting log of, okay, first of all log. So it is log. What was the base? Square root of 5. Okay. And over here you have the square root. So again, you see square root has come. Square root of 5. And the argument was equal to 25. Fine. Let us get the value. Enter. It is equal to 4. So the value that we have got manually was correct. Now let us move on to the third question of this session. Question number three, find the value of log of e to the base half. In our previous two questions, we had expressed the argument in terms as some power of the base. In this question, the base is 10, so we have expressed this argument 100 in as 10 squared, as some power of the base. Over here, the base is square root of 5. We have expressed 25 as power of, fourth power of square root of 5. It is square root of 5 raised to the power of 4. But how to express 8 as some power of half? You can, but it is not so very easy. So why not we change the base of the given logarithm? 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So, 
can we make the base equal to 2? Because half can be written as 2 to the power of negative 1. So, let us make the base equal to 2 instead of half. Okay. So, log of 8 to the base half can be written as log of 8 to the base 2 divided by log of half to the base 2. And in place of 8, now again we will be using the same technique. 2 should be, uh, sorry, 8 should be expressed as some power of this base 2. So, it will be 2 to the power of 3. It is log of 2 to the power of 3 to the base 2 and the denominator is log of 2 to the power of negative 1 because half is 2 to the power of negative 1 to the base 2. And the power of the numerator and the power of the denominator, they will be coming to the respective coefficient positions. So, we will be having 3 times log of 2 to the base 2 divided by negative 1 times log of 2 to the base 2. And this one is 1 and this one is 1. So, it is 3 times 1 divided by negative 1 times 1 or 3 over negative 1 which is equal to negative 3. Okay. So, we are getting the value of log of 8 to the base half equal to negative 3. Remember this. We will be needing this. We have to input this. Log of 8, the argument is 8, the base is half. And the answer that we are getting is negative 3. Okay. So, now let us go to the calculator. Okay. So, again we start with log. This time the base is half. So, we will be writing half 1 divided by 2. Okay. And this argument was equal to 8. So, it was log of 8 to the base half. And what should we, what is the value of this? Let us find. Enter. See, it is negative 3. Okay. So, the answer that we had got manually was correct. It is indeed equal to negative 3. And we have verified, we have now learned that Whatever we are doing in order to get the value of some argument with respect to some base is correct. The way that we are entering the values to get the value of a logarithmic term is correct and we are getting the correct answers. So, in future whenever we are required to get the value of any logarithm using a calculator, the arguments may be quite complicated, the base also may be quite complicated, but you have to first of all write the, take the log control and then this log, you will be getting this log and one place for the base and the other for the argument. In the base position, whatever is the base expression or uh, number, you have to write that. In the argument also, whatever is given, you have to write that. They may be decimal numbers, whatever they may, uh, it may be. Whatever is given, you write and you press enter, you will be getting the corresponding value. Okay. So, students, this brings us to the end of this session. Please like, share and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching this video till the end. We meet again very soon. Till then, bye.